right tree, right place is a term you hear a lot. At OUC, we want you to succeed in your goals of planting a tree on your property. And now we will go through the steps for you to select the right tree in the right place on your property. Step one, ask yourself, why are you planting this tree on your property? Is it for shade, for energy efficiency? Is it for honoring a family member or a social event by planting a tree? Is it for a buffer around the edge of your property? Or is it just for fruiting bodies? Having a specific goal in mind when selecting a tree for your property is essential. Step two, understanding the planting site. Before you can select a tree, you need to think about your planting site. Where do the tree roots grow? In the soil. So think about what soil type you have, whether it's well-drained and sandy or poorly drained and wet. Matching the right tree with the right soil type will ensure your tree can thrive on your site. So let's move to space. How much space is available for the tree's future canopy? You wanna think about what it will look like when it's fully mature and grown. Now on to shape. Trees come in all shapes and sizes, tall and narrow, or low and spreading. So think about what the tree shape would fit in your space. The final step, selecting the right tree for your planting site. You wanna make sure the tree's needs match the conditions of your planting site. For more information on Central Florida trees, here are some websites that provide detailed information that can help you find the right tree. Let's talk about some things we need to avoid when planting a tree. Avoid planting any trees that will grow taller than 15 feet below the utility lines. Make sure to set back your tree 30 to 50 feet if the planting site is close to overhead power lines. If you're planting near underground utility boxes or transformers, avoid planting trees or shrubs in front of the transformer's door. Allow three feet of clearance around the sides and back for access of the utility company. Avoid planting near sidewalks, roads, or buildings where the tree will impact the structures as it grows into maturity. This is giant timber bamboo. This is not a compatible species for the overhead utility power lines. We'd like a, a lower growing dwarf species if you're gonna plant bamboo. We want the more clumping and not the spreading species. Bamboo is a fast growing species. It's hard to maintain and we do not like it around overhead utility power lines. Here are some compatible species we found at University of Florida Extension Office in Orlando. This is Maltus viburnum. It is a perfect compatible species for a buffer zone along your property to plant underneath overhead utility power lines. Remember, we don't want this to get over 15 feet in height. This is a loquat. This is a compatible species with that setback of 30 feet. Being that it grows over 15 feet, we have to have a setback from our overhead utility power lines. It provides great shade and fruit for animals and humans. This is a dwarf mulberry. It's perfect for fruiting bodies, shade, and the best thing ever, it doesn't get above 15 feet. So it's compatible with our overhead utility lines. OUC wants you to be successful in planting a tree on your property. Right Tree Right Place helps you to do so. For more information, visit OUC's website on Right Tree Right Place.